Hello guys, the DB Grinder here back at it again with another video, and this time it's Effect with 1,564 rating versus Kurt Cobain, Ack Millen, kind of sounds like Mac Miller with that second part, uh, with 986 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. We're going to see Kurt over there, win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, uh, 42 versus 45, um, weird numbers. Opening hands is Conquistador, Scarlet, Ecclesia, Gamma, Lord. So, he's obviously playing Dragma, Eldritch. We don't know if he's playing the Synchro stuff or not. I have to assume he is, since he's playing 45 cards. That's probably the only reason why he would. Um, this hand's good. I mean, it has the Eldritch and the Dogma stuff. And it has the most impactful hand trap going second. This is a good hand. And he has Karma Cut, Skarm, Seer, Graph, Called by. He opens Skarm, Seer, and Graph. That's a. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely interesting, though. I don't think I've seen anyone draw all three of these since, like, 2015. And then Called by. Special Summon Graph, Normal Summon Seer, Overlay in the Dante, Discard Skarm to make. Beatrice or Beat Rice. Set called by set Karma Cut and Phase Skarm. Add Tour Guide. Passes turn draws O line. So he is playing the Synchro build. He's going up against Karma Cut called by and Beatrice right here, and that's uh, it's honestly pretty good. Like, yeah, called by is gonna be nuts right here against the Lord. Uh, it tries Lord in effect, and that gets hit with called by. Ecclesia summon itself for free. Um, so, he could have used... I guess he's playing around Gamma. I was going to say, because he could have used this effect right here. Detaching Dante to send Alec. So that way he can negate the Ecclesia. Um, but now that's going to get the search for Punishment. Set Conquistador's uh, Punishment, End Phase, Scarlet, Set Walkero. He could have summoned this in defense too. And then, pass turn, he's gonna Beatrice, detach Dante, send Backjack, now he gets Backjack and Dante. And this is where the deck starts getting far ahead. Um. He hits Dynamiscus, Crow, and Rhino Warrior. So he's going to put Dynamiscus to the top. So that way he can set it to Sun Phase. And then he gets Skarm back with Dante. Dynamiscus up. Uh, and then he draws Crow for turn. Normal Summon Tour Guide. Uses Effect. Bring out the Rhino Warrior. Um, on summon, he's going to use Punishment, Target Rhino Warrior, Sending Ash, and then Rhino Send Libic, and then Libic Effect, Summon Skarm from Hand. Yeah, if anything there, he should have Punishment got rid of Tour Guide. Because Rhino, like, he knew Rhino could replace itself. Um, and it's not like he could just Special Summon another BA, I mean... Rhino is negated right there, and he has back row. And he knows that one card in hand is Skarm. Link. Whoa, what is he making this for? Um, Is he going into the Samord play? Even, even better, is he doing Guard Dragon plays? That's what I want to see. I want to see BA guard dragon stuff. Like just mid game pop out a good old LP for no reason. Seer 1 on Dante, Farfa 2 on his monster. See, he's getting close. If this was a monster, level 4 or lower, boom, he could guard dragon. He's going to use its effect. He didn't say what he was calling. Alright, so he's going into the Samorg. I mean, it's going to end up losing out to Gamma, but it's still really interesting. Dante at Seer back. I wonder if he's going for a uh, statue or if he's going for Avion. Statue does seem good in this deck, though, with, like, Dynamiscus and Karma Cut. Like, getting rid of the normal summon. 
Conquistador summon itself. Beatrice beat over. 24 direct. Uh, end phase Skarm. Add tour guide. And then some morgue effect gets hit with Gamma. So I guess we won't know. Unless if he does that play again next game. Hopefully he does though. I'm interested. Um, now those get banished. Draws another O-Lion. Uh, I mean... Yeah, this is this is very poor. He's going to admit defeat. Oh, he should have got his uh, Ecclesia back. Eh, I mean, it wasn't going to do too much. Uh, he's going to get Karma cut into Dinomiscus on the Tuner Summon. And he knew about the Dinomiscus. Uh, game 2, the opening hand is Conquistador, O-Lion, Cosmic, Imperm, Souls. He's playing Souls in this deck too. I mean, I guess it makes sense why it's 45. Um, it's a good hand. Plays through hand traps. And then he has Dinomiscus, Libic, Rhino, Karma Cut, Cosmic. So no hand traps. Um, that kind of scares me. I think he just loses this one then if he has no hand traps. Um, send Nighton to summon out souls. Also, a lot of people don't know you can do that because it's a spellcaster. So you don't have to play illusion in the deck anymore. Souls, get rid of two. Draws Ecclesia Cursed. So I think that's like another cool thing like the dogs provide for this deck. Is it lets you take one brick out of the deck. And add a card that is a dogma card. It's not very good to draw. But it's actually like usable. Normal summon O-Line. Go for Link Karibo. Then go for Needle. Needle and O-Lion. And then he's going to get rid of Needle for Link Cross, use that effect, bring out tokens. Yo, just like randomly for a second there, like every, I don't, I don't even know what that was, like all the crickets around here just started making noises for no reason. It sounded like a storm of them. Uh, formula draws Conquistador. Link Karibo bring itself back. Goes into Blocker. And then goes into the Mechum Phantom Beast. Uses that effect. Brings out tokens. In reality here, he would have combo. Um, with only one O-line. We know he's playing two, but... This is combo with only one. Goes into Savage. Savage effect. Equip Needle. Activate Curse, pay feel great, add Lord, discard Lord, bring out Jup. Then goes in the Herald. So he, did he side out an O-Lion? I, I feel like that's what happened here. Yeah, I mean he had to have. Summon Ecclesia, uses that effect, add Punishment. R. Um, I guess this is actually just better. Like even leaving like the Mechum Phantom Beast on board. Like this card's actually like just tribute one the pop one. Gets rid of Needle, brings out Lord. This is nuts. Uh, so end phase Conquistador sets Scarlet. So he has Scarlet, Imperm, Punishment, Conquistador. So he has one, two, three, four. Five interruptions and punishment is like five. It's like the fifth, but it's kind of like six at the same time because it can send elder. Draws crow. Um, honestly, you might just admit defeat here. Libic summon itself. No way he's actually gonna try grinding this. Normal summon rhino. Imperm on rhino. Libic dies now. Battle phase rhino beat over herald. Yeah. All right. If this guy wins right now. And I haven't looked, I haven't like watched over this full match. Um, so I don't know like who wins right here. But if this BA guy wins right here, no cap, I will personally cash app this dude $10. And he, he doesn't even know this is happening. So he can just win $10 for no reason. Uh, set Karma Cut, set Cosmic, set Dynamiscus, End Phase, Scarlet, bring out. I was going to say bring out Ash, and yeah, he admits defeat. Oh, I was, I was surprised he even, like, tried staying in that. A lot of people would just admit a defeat there. 
Uh, game two, we see Kurt go first. Opening hand is driver, tuning, cosmic, punishment, servant. Draws driver in 45. That sucks. Now he has no hand trap. Um, the cosmic's good. The tuning's good. The servant's good, but the punishment and driver kind of suck. And he has Seer, Called By, Rhino, TT, Ice Dragon's Prison. We've been seeing this card a lot more. Um, honestly, it's probably extremely good in this BA deck since the deck plays Trap Trick and stuff. Uh, and Backjack. So, that's cool. Uh, we'll see it probably pop off. Special Summon Seer, Normal Summon Out Rhino. Overlay in the Dante, uses the effect, mill 3, and then Rhino, there's the trap trick I was just talking about. Rhino sends backjack, and then backjack effect. Hits Ash, Cosmic, Skarm, doesn't even hit a trap. He's probably going to put Skarm to top, so that way next turn he can backjack mill the Skarm. Uh, during the end phase and then Skarm Search. Set called by TT and Ice Dragon's Prison. I guess it's better to hit Backjack there than it is to hit Skarm. Because like Skarm searches on the end phase right away. Um, and then like your opponent knows what you have. But now you could like, now the opponent's probably thinking like that Backjack's going to tag into a trap. It's actually just going to be a Skarm Search. Draws Tuning. Uh, uses tuning. It could be a good draw. He needs to get to his Eldritch stuff. Add Jet. Mill Cursed. And that that's halfway there. He can block or add that back to hand. Normal Summon Jet. Link Away. And the Link Karibo. Jet. Discard Driver. Bring itself back. Now, later in the game, he could Zeta return that Driver to hand. Just to return the Zeta to Extra Deck. It's happened to me a lot in testing. Make Needle. Needle Effect. Summon out O-Lion. Gets rid of Needle for Link Cross. Uses that effect. Brings out tokens. Right here, he could use Ice Dragon's Prison. Special Summon out the Needle Fiber. And then Banish Needle and O-Lion. And then, like, if he has any more, like, possible way of comboing, like, an extra extender or something, he'd have TT. Yeah, he's going to use that, steal the needle, and then banish the needle and O-Lion, activate tuning, add jet. Does he mill an Eldlish? He does. He actually mills Walkero. That, that's actually really good. Now he has a way to Scarlet. Um, he could link Kribo, bring a token back, go in the blocker, discard jet, end phase add cursed. Then he'd have cursed and Scarlet. He's not even doing that. No. I think that blocker play was actually like really nuts. Like getting a cursed. Like you and your opponent are in like this little like. It doesn't even feel like a grind game, but it really is going to become a grind game. Uh, and getting a card like cursed, where if they don't respond to it, is going to start plusing you multiple cards. It's so good. It's going to send Elder to add Ecclesia. And then Elder to pop TT. It's going to call by on Elder. It's going to chain Cosmic on TT. TT gets banished. Um, Elder gets banished too. Then Special Summon out Ecclesia. Uses that effect. Adds Nightened. Or Nighted. I need to start saying that right. It's not Night End. It's Nighted. Set Punishment. End phase, banish Walkero, set Scarlet. Oh, this should just be a blocker right here. And a cursed in hand. Uh, backjack. Mill Skarm, and then Skarm effect. Add Tour Guide. Pass turn, draws Karma Cut. Karma Cut's nuts versus Eldlish. Like, mid-late game. You just banish every lord with one card. Normal summon tour guide effect. It's gonna knighted. Negate tour guide. Like back in the day, the BA mirror match, Karma Cut was insane. Hitting a Dante on board when they targeted a Dante engrave with Seer was it was just game.
like half the time you just win right there. Negate tour guide. Make IP. Seer one on Dante. Dante two on Skarm. Then discard Skarm for Beatrice. Yeah. IP beat over token. Beatrice beat over token. Surprised you didn't attack Link Cross with the second one. Set Karma Cut, End Phase, Skarm, add Tour Guide. Past turn, he's added Tour Guide because Dante can add back Seer. Scarlet, bring out Lord. Draws Nib. Nib can be very good versus this deck. If they go for the IP Beatrice board turn one, you drop Nib. Feels very good. Uh, switches everything to attack. Declares battle phase. Does he want to use IP? He's definitely going to Beatrice. Yeah, Beatrice first. Sending Libic. Uh, Libic 1, Dante 2. Libic is a legal activation because he has a tour guide in hand. Add Seer, then special summon Seer. And then IP link 4 into 0 Boros. Seer on Skarm. This is going to be crazy. Does he have... Oh man, he'd have to... Yeah, he doesn't have a card with like 4,000 attack and extra deck. So he brings out Skarm, and then cool interaction with the BAs and Zero Boros is that the Skarm is actually going to go to Grave, and then Zero Boros triggers. So now he's going to get Skarm Search again. Everything gets banished permanently. Normal summon out Jut. This is good. Go into Link Karibo, back from the Grave. So he just has full Synchro combo here. Um, Jet bring itself out. Link in the needle. Also, update on the PC. Probably five minutes before I started recording this video. They said that it was officially shipped and they gave me the tracking number. So, the PC I bought like a month and a half ago, finally being shipped. Uh, quality of the content's gonna get better. And then needle bring out Jet. Go to Mechum Phantom Beast, use that effect, bring out tokens. Like the tiny, tiny bit of lag that you guys see now is just going to completely disappear and everything will be better. Brings out O-Lion. Then goes into Savage, I think. Oh, he's going to go, I was going to say Savage uh, because he could negate the Skarma end phase and then the tour guide next turn. But he's going for the Chaos Ruler. Um, I'm fairly certain it was Nicholas D that was like made this popular um, and rated. But it says, when it's Synchro Summon, you can excavate the top five cards of your deck. And if you do, add an excavated light or dark monster to your hand. Also, send the remaining cards to the graveyard. So it's like a Karee Bandit for a light or dark monster when it's summoned. Which is obviously really good with the Eldritch stuff. Um... And then it's also really good with the dogma stuff. And then its other effect is you can banish one light and one dark monster from your hand and our grave. Accept this card. Special summon this card from your graveyard but banish it when it leaves the field. Um, so then when you summon it back from the grave you can just use its effect again. Uh, so it's a pretty good card. And also with like how like the mirror matches. And how it's grindy, just like having this is good. So he mills, he hits Ecclesia, Nib, and Gamma. He could add any of these if he wanted to, but he's obviously gonna add Ecclesia here. I wonder if he even plays Savage. Like, the, there's just a chance that he doesn't. Because if he does, he would have definitely made it there. Because he would have been, oh. Now I want to know, because he could have negated Skarm, the tour guide, left your opponent, like, top decking, pretty much, to where they need to draw an extender or something to negate the Savage. I feel like putting him on, like, 
that is just better than putting them on this. 15, 3,000. Scarlet, set Conquistador. Set Punishment. And then pass play. End phase Skarm, add Farfa. Draws Cosmic. Cosmic's so good here. That outs the punishment. Wow. That's strong. And then Zero Boros comes back. Normal Summon Tour Guide. Use Effect. Bring out Graph. Um, he's going to overlay into Levier to bring back the back jack. I really like this play. So now that's reusing back jack at its finest. And then Graph bring out Skarm. So now he's going to get Skarm search again at this end phase. Battle phase zero Boros attack. That is 4,500 damage. He could have used Levier to attack this too. Just to do some more. Unless that's counted in the Levier attack. Honestly, I, I don't know. This has a lot of attack right now. Uh, Lynx, and then gets back jack effect. Uh, hits Ice Dragon's prison, so now he could choose to either Skarm Search or not. Because he wants that trap to be there. Special summon Farfa, Zero Boros triggers. Banish everything once again. Honestly, there's no really point to Skarm Search. I mean, you could just go for that trap to ensure that your opponent can't do much. Draws Imperm. Oh, yeah, that's game. Um, well, I mean, it's technically not game. Yeah, because he could discard Imperm for Jet. Zero Boros comes back. He's just going to pass turn. He's not even trying. Back Jack hits Ice Dragon's Prison. Um, so even if he... If he did bring out Jet, he would have lived for a turn. Because then if his opponent used Ice Dragon's Prison target O-Lion to like try to like banish Jet, you could just chain Link Karibo. Uh, to have a Cybers on board now. Cybers, and then they get to summon an O-Lion. Uh, but in reality, he, I mean, he's drawing Rhino for turn, so this game anyways. Uh, battle phase, Zero Boros attack. He's going to Imperm it. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's still 3,000. And then he's going to say GG. So, that was a good match. Um, haven't seen a lot of Burning Abyss recently. But it's definitely one of those decks that you like to see around. Just because it's like one of those old decks that it's never fully really going to die. People just love the deck. But that's going to be it for the video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder signing off. Peace.